Hi Pop Sugar, I'm Natalie Coughlin here at the P&G home in London and thanks for all your support. I train between five and six hours a day. Um, it, it always varies. It could be two to four hours in the pool. Um, I do weight training, I do Pilates, I run, um, and uh, the combination is just what changes. My Olympic heroes were Summer Sanders and Janet Evans. Um, I looked up to them so much when I was a kid. For after the games, I am just looking forward to going home. I haven't been home in like two months and um, just relaxing with my husband and my doggies and just enjoying the peace and quiet. My favorite post-workout snack is probably, um, I make these, these bars. Um, they're a raw, or, or not a raw bar, they're um, a gluten-free bar that has dried plums and nuts and seeds and coconut and they're super healthy uh, and really delicious. My favorite cheat food is a bratwurst. I eat very healthfully. But when I indulge, I mean, the hot dog is my biggest <laughs> indulgence. It's, it's disgusting, but so delicious. If I could do any other Olympic sport, I think I would love to be able to do beach volleyball or track and field. Those are, those are the two that I love watching and, um, yeah, are my favorites. The most surprising thing in my gym bag is probably... Um, lip stain. I love lip stain. <laughs> Before competition, I have the same routine. So I've been doing the same Pilates routine uh, for many, many years. And so it's a great way for me to just get in the right mindset before competing. <laughs> it's, it's funny. People imagine the Olympic Village to be this giant party where people are just going nuts and it's been perpetuated a little bit in recent articles. Um, it's a lot more boring than you probably think. <laughs> but uh, I will say when our, the best people watching is in the cafeteria and when Usain Bolt walked in the first time, I thought it was the prince. It, it, the, everyone in there started clapping and everyone was getting up and looking who it was and I, I really thought Prince William w w just walked in but it's Usain Bolt and his entourage. <laughs> I love working out but when the alarm goes off at 4.30 and it's January and it's 40 degrees outside and raining, the last thing I want to do is jump in a cold pool. But once I'm in there and once I'm going is, is what motivates me. So it, it's, it's really just about getting to, to the gym and, and getting yourself actually moving. Once you're in the workout, like you never re regret doing a workout. I enjoy celebrating a big win by just going to a, a fancy restaurant. I love food more than anything. And so uh, indulging in a great meal, um, a nice relaxing meal, preferably uh, outside, I like the fresh air, um, it is my favorite way. The exercise I love to hate is swimming. <laughs> um, it's something that, you know, it's not for everybody. You, ha you have to be in your own head for so long and, um, you know, you're staring at that black line for hours and hours and hours of a day. So it, um, it takes a special personality to be able to be in your own head and be that focused for so long. But it's something that I've done for almost 25 years. This is not my first time to London. However, this is the first time I've really gotten to enjoy London. And just taking the tube and um, seeing how much history is here. It's such a beautiful town. Um, I'm looking forward to doing the London Eye. I bought tickets for that. So hopefully between now and closing ceremonies, I'll, I'll make it over there. I first dreamt of going to the Olympics when I was six years old, um, which was the 1988 games. And um, I remember watching Janet Evans and Matt Biondi and all of my teammates and I were like, oh, we're gonna go to the Olympics someday, but we had no idea what that meant um, or how to get there or any, anything that it took to get there. But 
we knew it was a goal that is special. My mom and dad have been such great swim parents. Uh, they knew that their role was to be the supporter. They never tried to be my coach, um, but you know they drove me to swim practice, and my mom in particular would French braid my hair before uh, a swim meet so it would be easier for me to get my cap on. And um, they were always there. And swim meets are very, very long, especially when, <laughs> when you're a little kid. They go all day long. So I'm glad that they put up with the many hours. <laughs>